Making the World Work for Everyone. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 276. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 276, July 8th, 2018 edition. And actually, it's the first part of a three part series. Today's topic is making the world work for everyone, and next week I want to talk about long-term sustainable solutions for immediate challenges. I'm going to tie all these things together with a video after that as well, the week following. So let's talk about making the world work for everybody. I'm wearing my I Love You shirt to promote this positive message and this idea, which is making the world work for everybody. If we truly love team humanity, our family, our tribe, all these people that are connected to us, all life on this planet, wouldn't it make sense to take proactive action in creating a world that truly works for everybody? If the technology, if the knowledge, and the willpower exist, and that last one might be the hardest part because the technology, the knowledge, they definitely exist right now to be able to simultaneously address all the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come, to simultaneously address poverty, hunger, war, uh, social injustice and equality, lower education standards, all of these different things. We can breathe healthier air, drink healthier water, grow healthier food, build healthier homes, and live in healthier environments. And one community is creating all this stuff. We are here to work towards making the world work for everyone. This is what we're about. And we believe that we can do it within our lifetime. And this is our love for humanity. This is our love for all life on this planet. And expressing that love is creating a solution model that creates additional solution creating models to make the world work for everyone, to address homelessness, to address starvation, to address this social injustice, injustice and inequality, all these things simultaneously, creating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs, pumping out, creating, and sharing open source and free sharing do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, instructions, and everything necessary to replicate all of the foundations of a sustainable civilization. A sustainable civilization that will meet the needs of everybody participating within that sustainable civilization, everybody not participating as well. By creating teacher demonstration hubs that combine all the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, sustainable approaches to food, sustainable approaches to energy, and sustainable approaches to housing, and combining those with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability. Because it doesn't make sense to create making the world work for everyone if everyone is miserable. And so the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've combined with this are highest good education models, highest good economic models, uh, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. Putting all of these things together into a comprehensive model, a solution model to create additional solution creating models, specifically a teacher demonstration community that will grow to a village and that will grow to a city designed specifically to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well and working in cooperation and collaboration with those teacher demonstration hubs around the world, teaching more and more people how to create teacher demonstration hubs and invite people to participate. People don't have to create teacher demonstration hubs if they're just interested in making the world work for everyone by making the world work for them specifically only. That's totally fine. It's a step in the right direction. Everything that we're creating is created with the mindset and the mentality of the highest good for all life on this planet. And so, in doing that, by creating these open source hubs, our goal in making the world work for everyone is to create something where people don't have to be invested in the shared idea of making the world work for everyone. They might just want to do it for themselves, for their friends, for their family, to create a place where people with common vision, common values, common goals can come together, live sustainably, eat healthier food, breathe healthier air, drink healthier water, live in a healthier home, live in a healthier environment that has more time, more freedom to do the things that they want to do, and more opportunities to actually experience that. And that is the social architecture, the highest good society aspect of one community, which is creating a, an environment that is so enriching and fulfilling that, all, that the current traditional models pale in comparison. Most people vacation 
in a place like Club Med or they go on cruises or they go to places where they can do activities? Why don't we create environments that provide those activities within walking distance of your home so that you can participate whenever you want? An environment flexible enough, adaptable enough, and for the highest good of all people living within that, that's designed to meet their social needs as well as their physical needs in such a way and, in, and so abundantly that there's enough to share with others. And with so much free time and space for people to be able to do things with that free time, that from that place of abundance, we hope that some small percentage will want to join us in this mission of making the world work for everyone and helping to create open source tools, tutorials, resources, and even more blueprints and do-it-yourself instructions for all the aspects of highest good living. Well, what we call highest good living, which are food, highest good food, highest good housing, highest good energy, highest good uh, fulfilled living models, highest good society, which we call highest good society, highest good economics, and as well as true earth stewardship, putting all these things together in that complete model, a living environment that if people don't know what it is or would like to check it out and experience it before they perhaps decide to build something like that for themselves using all of our open source tools and resources, well, that's what one community is all about. Come and visit. Experience what it is that we're creating. This is what we're moving towards, is building one community as a tangible resource, a tangible place that people can come and visit and experience. And when you experience it, everything that you see is open source and free shared so that it can be replicated, including the complete model, including the open source strategy itself for sharing and expanding the model even more as an ecotourism destination that invites people to come and experience it and participate and gives away everything that it is that we are so that people can replicate that. So if people vacation in a place like this and say, wow, this is amazing. This is unbelievable. I can't believe this. You live this way? And we can say, yeah, you should live this way too. And you should invite others to come and experience the way that you're living this way so that they see that they can live this way as well. And in so doing, we create a self-replicating model and we invite everybody to participate and in so doing we are making the world work for everyone within our lifetime. Simultaneously addressing the challenges, the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come. The homelessness, the starvation, the lack of energy infrastructure, the lack of quality education, internet access, these kinds of things that are a problem for a huge percentage of the world and could be addressed right now with a model like ours, and this is what we're doing. So with all that said, we're an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization. Here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal, making the world work for everyone within our lifetime. Check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Here you go. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This past week, Hemant Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 15th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village Pod 1. This week's focus was researching bond beam use and other stabilization approaches for permitted construction in seismic zones. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his 12th week helping update our renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike continued working on the Earthbag Village and successfully finished the initial merge of our three primary village and landscaping files. You can see a couple of his test renders here. Also, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 14th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, Shadi further developed the pages you see here for assembling the back storage area component. This work in progress included creation of several new pages, adding steps to existing pages, and several parts updates. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates also. Here is update 121 of Dean's work, showing this final section view of one of the Cobb Village living units. This image is now on the website also. Michael Hagler, Senior Graphic Designer and Artist, also finished these two updated versions of the Cobb Village Introduction and Summary Spreads for the Seven Villages book. These are both on the website now also. Dan Ellick, Designer and Illustrator, completed his 22nd week working on the Compressed Earthbox Village Render Editions. This week he began work on this render of one of the living units by replacing the ceiling, outdoor details, and adding in initial people and room elements. 
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team began rebuilding the city center geodesic dome in 3D to reflect our simpler design, double check our beam lengths, and work to minimize the number of different beam lengths needed for DIY construction of a structure this large and complex. The core team also finished the city center basement and root cellar storage redesign in SketchUp, an area shown here, and considered part of the eco kitchen. The core team additionally updated the floor plans on the city center main open source hub and eco kitchen pages, some of which you can see here. And the core team created these three overview images that will be used as part of the Seven Villages book we're creating. They show the city center control systems and initial plumbing and electrical systems. The core team working with Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 84th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was a new round of lighting tests for the public bathrooms, some of which you can see here. Dipti also ran initial tests for the hallway areas. You can see some of this work here. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by redoing the beam layout and labeling system to what you see here. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 12th week helping with the duplical city center materials and costs. This week's focus was changes in furniture selection for the cupola, living dome lighting cost analysis, review and changes to the kitchen equipment costs, adding all equipment images, and standardizing the dome's structural members. You can see some of this work here. Last but not least, Da Wa Feng, civil engineer, completed his 10th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the city center. This week, he focused mostly on pressure requirement calculations and updates along with related changes to the zones and piping layouts, some of which you can see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team returned to developing the Permaculture Design Open Source Hub. We created and added a new header image, SWOT analysis section, and added all the permaculture graphics finished so far. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished rebuilding and writing the content for the collaborative team roles and training page, so it is as complete and comprehensive as all the other pages of the evaluation and evolution component of the Learning for Life program. You can see some of this newly finished page here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Well, there you have it. This is how our team of all volunteers, nonprofit organization is making the world work for everyone. If you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, we invite you to send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, and you'll get one email a week uh, sharing these updates. Or you can join us through social media and manage your updates that way. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. We're on LinkedIn. We're on Tumblr. We're on Reddit and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to be able to access our information, to be able to share our information, and we share our updates every single week to those to all those different networks to get the word out. Of course, if you'd like to help, uh, visit our helping page, or the easiest way to help us out is to share our information on social media. Like I said, we're on all the different social media networks, and so if you'd like to share, help us uh, share our information on social media or just go to any one of our networks, and like the posts that we're putting up there. All those things, every little bit makes a difference, and so we really do appreciate it. And if you're somebody who's just watched to the end, well, hey, thank you for that. 
you know, we're making the world work for everyone one small step at a time. And so if you're just somebody who's watched the end or if you've made a donation to our project or if you've sent an email or made a comment on anything that we've done, uh, all that stuff helps. We do appreciate it. We thank you. And uh, we will continue this process. So until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. And please remember to join us for next week's episode, which is Long-Term Sustainable Solutions for Immediate Challenges, which ties in beautifully to making a world that works for everybody. And that's the next episode. Check you out next week. Thanks for following the progress. Have a good one.